If you're looking for your first set of crampons, or maybe you're just curious about the different types uh, that's out there, um, and maybe you're not entirely sure how to choose the best one for you, then keep watching. In this video, I'll be looking at three key features that I think you should be looking for. And if you choose to watch the video to the end, there'll be just an extra feature that I believe that people often neglect when choosing the best crampon. Before we jump right into it, uh, remember to subscribe to our channel to receive more videos about alpine climbing and rock climbing and ice climbing around Europe and different gear advice. So the first thing you need to consider, that is what type of climbing you intend to do. Because there's different specialized crampons for different activities, such as alpine climbing or general mountaineering or steep ice. So crampons have different kinds of front points that you should be looking for when choosing the best crampon. So there's basically two types. There's the horizontal front points and then there's the vertical ones. So horizontal front points are good for snow ridges. It's good for general mountaineering, such as uh, climbing uh, snow slopes or snow gullies or hiking across glaciers. So if you're looking for an all-rounder um, for general uh, alpine climbing and mountaineering, I think uh, horizontal front points would be just uh, fine but they don't really penetrate steep ice that well. But if you're looking for doing some dedicated steep ice climbing as well, then you should be considering vertical front points. These are more specialized for steep ice, they are more sharp, they uh, tend to look uh, a bit more aggressive. Um, it kind of resembles ice axes <laughs> a bit on your feet. That's actually the intention of having vertical front points because they are super good at penetrating steep ice. Secondly, there's three kinds of bindings that you should be looking for. And of course, all the major brands have different names for their bindings, but I have created a comparison in the description below. But just for the matter of simplicity, in this video, I'll be using the names from Black Diamond. So the first binding we're looking into, that's the strap binding. This is for super quick attachment to your boots, um, but it can tend to have a quite loose feet, so I would only recommend this for glacier hiking or very, very light uh, mountaineering. For more technical stuff, such as harder alpine climbing or snow ridges or snow slopes, I would consider the, uh, the clip binding. But when you consider the clip binding, you need to have some special features of the boots that you're wearing. They need to be crampon compatible, uh, which you can see on the back of the boot. Uh, if it has this small uh, edge, uh, then you can attach the crampon to. The fit will be much more firm uh, than with the strap binding, which is good because then the uh, crampon will not uh, pop off if you do something that's uh, a bit more hard. Finally, for steep ice, I would consider the Pro binding, which also attaches uh, the crampon to the front of your boot in a much more uh, stiff and firm way. So choosing the correct kind of binding is definitely something you need to consider when choosing the best crampon. One question that I hear a lot, that is whether to go uh, dual point or mono point. This is probably more advanced and especially applies to steep ice climbing. Crampons for general mountaineering and alpine climbing uh, with the horizontal uh, front points always comes in a dual uh, uh, front point setup. So that's not something that you should really be aware about. But if you're looking to do a mixed climbing where you also will be climbing on uh, rock, um, then I would definitely consider doing uh, monopoints. This will give you more precision in how you can twist and, and turn your foot uh, on rock because there will only be one point that's actually touching the rock. Something that can be a bit harder if you have two front points. 
But if you have experience with dual points or mono points, then leave a comment below and uh, let me know what's your preferred setup. So the extra feature that I spoke about in the beginning of the video that people often neglect, that's modularity. Some crampons are actually made so you can switch different parts, like the pistol links, which is my preferred crampon for the more harder climbing. Um, you can actually switch the front points from a dual point uh, configuration to a mono point configuration. And you can actually change the binding on the front of the crampon from a pro configuration to a clip configuration. Because when doing harder eyes, I tend to bring my uh, Scarpa Phantom uh, uh, heavier boots. But when I'm doing alpine climbing, I bring my Las Pativa Trango Cube. And another great thing about uh, thinking about modularity, that is when your front points get worn out, then you can actually buy new ones. So if you like this video, remember to watch some of the other videos that I've made, such as how to choose the best ice axe or how to choose the best uh, climbing pack. And you can look for links in the description below for those videos. So I really hope that this video has clarified your questions regarding how to choose the best uh, crampon for you. And if not, leave a comment below.